So as you can see, I'm still working, still grinding. So now remember, I told you I was attacking the short term goals um, here. So I changed the fees to the website first, so that's accomplished. So when I accomplish them, what I do is go ahead and make them go. Little accented, that way I know it's completed. So that's done. Um, the operations agreement for accurate help. So this is so you guys know how to do it at home because everything is just a Google click away. All right. So here we go. So first thing I did was just search single member LLC operating agreement. If you're starting out like most people typically do, you start off by yourself, a single member. You want to do an LLC um, and then you can build your way up from there, multiple members, etc. All right. So this is what I did. The first one that I actually came to, what I typically use is eForms.com. I like them because they give you a free trial, like a seven day trial or so. I typically end my trial in the subscription after I get the document that I need formatted and created. And then later on, if I need to utilize them again, I go and just re-register again. Um, but I haven't had any problems with this so far. So as you see, free single member LLC operating agreements because um, you want to govern your business. As I was alluding to previously on a previous video, you don't want to if you ever come into an instance where you're in court or if you're being sued for whatever reason, you want to make sure that your business, your entity is uh, secure and you do that. Make sure that your operational agreement inside or for your business is actually being adhered to. And that way you can avoid piercing a corporate veil. You can avoid possibly looking at or being looked at like an alter ego, which means you're just operating through a made up entity, but you're not really doing business. So in those cases, if you were being sued, it wouldn't fall on your entity. It would actually go into your personal property the personal effects. So you want to avoid your personal being affected negatively at all costs. So you separate your business from your personal and make sure that you handle business. That's important. All right. So here eForms, this is what I have here. Just to let you see, I activated it actually today. Um, and then what I did was create it because it ends on the 27th, two days after Christmas. I'm going to end it maybe by Thursday or Friday anyway, because I may keep it open this long just to make wording change up. And I have a few days to anticipate any new thoughts. So here and then you can see down here, PDF, you can see how it looks. Limited liability company operating agreement. And this is for accurate help. The first business that I, that I uh, let you know. So this is crossing your T's, dotting your I's. The unsexy part of creating a business is not just willy nilly. You want to make sure that when you're creating a business, actually, before you even register with your state, you want to obtain um, a mailbox, like a virtual mailbox so that you can utilize that address on all of your documents, whether it's from the state, for your banking, for anything concerning the business, you want to separate from your home address. Don't use your home unless you plan on making that business a home based business. Um, this way, when it comes time to get credit, credit offers, lines of credit offering. Um, the lending, the lenders and the banking institutions, they're going to follow up to check to see if your business is in a commercial establishment or if you're at home. You want to avoid being at home. Um, unless, like I said, it is a home based business, whereas you can still get funding, but I'm not exactly sure of the amount as opposed to a general LLC. Then like here, you can see I'll go over a few things. Like I said, it's a single member LLC agreement. Pretty much my contributions, my capital contributions to the business so far. And then let's see, tax purposes, bank accounts. It goes over the management of the company, ownership of the company, property, dissolution and liquidation. Um, 
indemnification, you know, all of these things that you need to have discussed and to be knowledgeable when concerning your business. Miscellaneous section, of course. And then here, I'm going to have a notarized um, when I sign in front of a notary as well. So, and that way, it's for business safe keep records. So that way, it's harder to, you know, make you liable or keep you associated with the business. That's just for that form. And here, it also said on the document, let's see, Michigan operating, but on the document itself, it gave a link for the IRS. Any new mailing addresses, it gives you the primary mailing address here. It's letting you know how to file taxes as a entity. So entity classification elections. This is where I would do S Corp. So that way, name of order, you know, and it pretty much gives you the option to sign it and do all of the data input right there from the form and then you can print it out or just download it and or scan it and send it out to the appropriate destination so that's all it is right here real quick just wanted to give you that information this is what you need to do when creating your business something overlooked but not by the professional businesses so you always want to make sure that you move with professionalism at all times. Don't go the easy route. Learn, read, self-teach. Get a mentor if available. If not, we have all of the free information at your fingertips. How bad do you want it? Really? I know we say it, but how bad do you really want it? Do you really see yourself at the destination that you envision? Or do you think it's a hope and a dream with no chance it's available, no real chance is available. If you put your head down, stay tunnel visioned, don't take no for an answer. Even if you get it as an answer, you don't let that deter you or stop you. You keep going. We all keep going. When you sleep, that's when you rest. Until you die, living is for the living. All right? So that's very important. Stay confident. I'm going to drill it into you. Stay confident in all things. That's pretty much how the unconfident gets left behind. You will see a separation pretty much instantly. And if not instantly, it's going to be rather sooner than later. Because consistency typically identifies if you are confident. Not just a nine to five because you're confident in working for someone else because you're going to show up. You're going to put yourself through rigor, through discomfort, through things that you otherwise do not or would not want to do in life. But for the sake of a check, for the sake of feeling comfortable with your nine to five, having a false sense of security, you maintain the habit of making someone else's dream come true and maintaining their dream with hopes of being able to have a few weeks, a year to yourself or with your family with permission, of course. So if you're tired of that rat race, if you really, really, really want to be independent and you really can see yourself being an entrepreneur, what's holding you back? It's real, there's really no answer outside of you. There's no words that an outside entity can say to you unless you really value their words to the point where validation either makes or break you from outside sources. I wouldn't suggest you do that. Nobody will see the vision that you see. We're all downloaded visions, ideas. On a daily basis, if you follow through with it, say if you got three, you follow through with one, it's a highly likely chance that you could succeed or your, your reality changes from where you are now to what you've envisioned. Paradigm shift. All right. The purpose of this video was to show you 
an act of consistency, showing you I'm attacking my short term goals and showing you the action, how to get it done. This is for up and coming entrepreneurs who may not be in the know with certain things. If I'm missing anything, feel free to let me know. I'd be happy to update an updated video or provide an updated video with information that I've learned after doing my due diligence um, of verifying the information. All right. So that's all I ask you to do as well. I do thank you for tuning in. This is the Pro Money Geek General, Mr. Mills. I need for you to subscribe. Hit the notification button like it this for all my pro money geeks around the world thanks for tuning in once again this is mr mills you guys have a good one i'm out